Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it is Saturday, so it's grocery haul day. I have a big haul for you today from two separate stores. I found some really good deals, some new food finds. I'm excited about it. So if you're excited too, give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe if you're not, Turn your bell on. I upload a grocery haul every Saturday in five videos every single week. Don't forget to check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized to you macros and calories. Highly, highly recommend. This is how I have lost and maintained a 140 pound weight loss as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for accountability to ask questions or talk with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things and my free supportive Facebook group, come on over join us, are all down in that description box. So let's head into the kitchen for this big grocery haul. So here is my grocery haul for the week. I have a pretty big haul this week from both Sprouts and Walmart. So let me show you what I picked up. Let's go ahead and start with Sprouts. So I did grab some organic baby spinach, baby kale. I actually need spinach for a recipe and I thought why not throw in a little bit of kale for the extra vitamin K and all the good nutrients that you find in kale. And you really don't notice much of a difference, especially when it's cooked down. So I picked that up. I also needed a couple of carrots for a recipe and a red bell pepper some fresh cilantro. I did buy four red onions. We are going to do another Blackstone Grill barbecue night this weekend and cook up a bunch of vegetables and meat for the week. It's really good for us to prep like that, just to have protein on hand and vegetables on hand. And we love red onions, especially sauteed with veggies. So I picked up some red onions for that as well as a couple of recipes. We're also going to cook up some mushrooms. So I got two huge packs, one for grilling up, and then I actually need mushrooms for my meal prep recipe. We're also going to grill zucchini and yellow squash, and this was a much better deal to buy it by the bag. I wanna say it was four. $4.99 when the zucchinis were two for four and the yellow squash was two for three. So I thought this was a little bit better deal. So I grabbed that. And then blueberries were actually on sale for or $2 and 50 cents a pack. So I picked up two for some fruit for the week. Also for fruit, I did grab some pineapple. This was on sale for $2 and 50 cents. I thought that I could grill that. I thought that might be kind of fun. I love a good grilled pineapple and then top cottage cheese with it. So I'm excited for that. And then Troy really liked having cantaloupe last week. So I got a big thing of cantaloupe. I got some interesting goodies, some new things to take with me on Saturday. I, If you saw my weigh-in video on Friday, you know that I'm hiking Picachu Peak, which is a difficult hike up a mountain to the top with my boot camp group tomorrow, and we need to bring a lot of snacks. It's about a five to six hour hike. So I found these, and these were new. I've never seen these before. This is from the brand Blobs, which is interesting. I got the passion fruit pineapple. They have quite a few different flavors, two grams of sugar and 50 calories per bag. When you're doing something long that requires a lot of endurance, you need those simple carbs, things to give you instant energy. So I thought that I would bring those. My really good friend Melissa is doing it with me. So I thought we could share. And then I got some trail mix, such a great snack for hiking. You have healthy fat, you have carbohydrates. And then this is another new thing I saw at Sprouts from the brand Garden Bar. This is a blueberry lemon bar. So it kind of looks like fruit leather. It's a hundred calories. The ingredients are blueberries, apples, agave, psyllium husk, coconut flour, citric acid, and lemon oil. So nice clean ingredients. Again, I thought that I would take that on my hike. I don't really have a way to keep things refrigerated. Not that it's hot here, but I don't want to bring fresh fruit. So I thought that would be really good. I'm also going to throw in a kind bar as well as a protein bar and lots and lots and lots of water. I'm going to throw in some clean, simple eats hydrate packets. So I think I am set for the hike tomorrow. I also picked up some dates because I need this for a recipe and I just love dates. I wanna make the little Snickers dates for my boot camp girls night next weekend. We're doing a girls night bunco party. So I'm gonna make the dates to take with me. I got Troy some more avocado oil. I got Troy some more chips so that he can finish up his dip. And then for barbecue night, I got these. These were buy one, get one half off. These are sugar-free smoked fresh turkey kielbasa. So they are 110 calories per serving, 12 grams of protein, nice clean ingredients, good quality, all natural, no antibiotics, 
paleo friendly, they have less sodium than traditional sausage and they're gluten free and they were buy one get one half off. So I got those, I'm going to cook those up on the barbecue and then I did get myself some 93% a ground beef burgers. I got Troy regular burgers, but I wanted a little bit leaner cut. And then I got some steak for him. This was an amazing deal, $10.91, normally $17. That is to throw on the barbecue. And then I got this to toss in the freezer. This is a big pack of 8515 ground beef, $7.99, two pounds. And that's good for Troy when I make him his tacos, his sloppy joes, spaghetti. He actually is thinking about wanting spaghetti, so I thought that would come in handy. And whenever I buy reduced meat like this, I I just either cook it up right away or throw it in my freezer. So that is everything from Sprouts. Let's jump into Walmart. I did grab some reduced sodium chicken broth. They were out of chicken broth, literally none. All they had was reduced sodium, which is fine with me. I actually need this for a recipe. And then the main reason I shopped at Walmart this week is to get a refill of my Real Good Chicken Nuggets. I will say I like these better than the Just Bear and they have way more protein. Just Bear is 17 and these are 23 and these have a lot less calories. I wanna say Just Bear is either 160 or 170. I just just really like these. They are delicious. My favorite way to eat these is in a bowl, in a wrap, or in on topping to top a salad. So I did get a salad kit as well to do a chicken Caesar salad. And then I got these. We, you know, I like to always put a sweet treat in the house for Troy. These donuts were three dollars and five cents, so I picked those up. And then for him, I did get the hundred percent Angus beef burger. So I have the lean cut of burger over here and then he is going to have just regular burgers. I also picked up some beef smoked sausage for him for the barbecue as well as some hot dogs. He wanted hot dogs and sausages to grill and then I did get him some hot dog buns as well so that he can have that with the hot dogs and sausages. I'm going to make a pot roast this week so I picked up a pot roast seasoning mix and then I got a few fun things for Valentine's Day. We are doing a Galentine's with my boot camp group, a little girls night and I'm gonna bring cupcakes. So I got the fun Fetty cupcake mix and then I got the fun Fetty frosting with the sprinkles and these cute little cups and sticks for the cupcakes. I thought that would be really cute to bring to the Valentine's party. I also got a huge box of Rice Krispies because we want Rice Krispie treats this week. And I have the marshmallows from Chalk Zero that are actually zero points on WW and they're so good. So I'm gonna make Rice Krispie treats for us using the Chalk Zero marshmallows. I did get a big, huge family size Caesar salad kit. This was three dollars and four cents. This is to pair with my little chicken nuggets over there. Like I said, I love to top a salad with the real good nuggets. And then I got these for breakfast bowls. I've been doing an egg, hash browns, cottage cheese, and then bacon or sausage. And these, I saw these and they sound really good. I've had the links, but I've never had the patties. So these are the Applegate chicken and maple breakfast sausage patties. They're only 60 calories a piece and they have five grams of protein. So I got those for my breakfast bowls. I needed some frozen corn for a recipe. I actually needed a lot of corn this week. I also needed a can of regular corn and a can of cream style corn. And then I got these two little cottage cheese cups. I think I'm going to take one of these with me tomorrow when I hike and I'm going to eat it on the way. It's about an hour drive one way. And I thought this would be a good source of protein and it has the little fruit on top. So I did pick up one blueberry and one strawberry, and then two gallons of 1% milk for Troy, as well as a 24 pack of Diet Coke for him. And that is everything that I picked up for the week from both Walmart and Sprouts. Let's jump into what's for dinner and what you'll see in Monday's meal prep. Here is what is on my menu for the week. Today, Saturday, we will go out for dinner. Tomorrow, we're gonna do our barbecue night. Monday, I'm making turkey corn chowder. So stay tuned for this recipe in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. Tuesday's leftovers, Wednesday I'm tossing a pot, ro pot roast in my crock pot, and then Thursday and Friday we'll do leftovers as well to finish up everything from earlier in the week. And here's what you'll be seeing in Monday's meal prep. So for breakfast I'm doing a mushroom spinach bacon egg cup. I'm actually really excited for this. Tuesday lunch I'm going to do blackened fish taco bowls, also excited for that. And for a snack slash dessert I'm making chickpea protein bars. This is something, this is a recipe that I've heard is 
really, really, really good, and I'm super excited to try it out. So stay tuned for all three recipes on Monday. Thank you for joining me for this week's grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything I picked up from both Sprouts and Walmart. Found some really good deals. I love a good deal, as well as some new food finds. Definitely stay tuned in my Facebook group and on Instagram for pictures and updates on my big, huge hike this morning. And if you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, turn your bell on so you never miss a future video, and check out the description box for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. And of course, come join my Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.